Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really famous British cutler, a fantastic knife maker and a brand that makes some absolutely superb British knives. We're going to be taking a look at a knife from Taylor's Eye Witness and specifically one from their premier collection of knives. And we're going to be taking a look at a Barlow. And this is actually my first uh, sort of high-end Taylor's Eye Witness. I've had a couple of the sort of budget Barlows throughout the year about years, sorry, with, you know, the, the standard hardwood scales, fantastic knives. They're only about £30 and they really are hard use slip joints. But this is a first for me from the Premier Collection. I did pick this up off the secondary market through, actually through the Discord sales page. So big shout out for that. So the box then, we've got the Taylor's Eyewitness sort of in the shield up here. Premier Collection, this really nice black presentation plain all the way round and on the back you can see this is on October 3rd 2023 and it's one of a hundred and it can see it's the African Blackwood and let's take pop it open and have a little look so inside the box then you're met with this little bit of paperwork here from Taylor's Eyewitness I'll pop the knife down here and we'll save that for a second so you've got craftsmanship alive and I'll hold that there and you can pause if you wish to read it. But you can see it's signed by Lee White at the bottom. And then on the back, we have some more information about how to care with your knife. Or sorry, how to care for your knife, things like that. And then at the bottom, you can see you've got their website down there, their address and their contact information. Uh, it's just Even the paper's a really nice quality you get with it. It's just fantastic. But here it is. Taylor's Eyewitness, Barlow, African Blackwood. Let's crack it out and make a look. Off the bat, excuse the fingerprints, it's a mirror polished blade. They're going to be all over it by the time I'm finished. But it's a standard UK Barlow length and we're looking at a closed length of one, two, three, pretty much bang on three, three and a half inches. That really nice, fat, bulbous end of the British Barlow handle. And look at the grain on the African Blackwood. And look at that. Back spring has been worked and filed perfectly. And I will say, for the price this is, for me, it's worth every penny. It's perfectly hafted by hand. As it said in the bit of paperwork, it's built by hand up the whole entire process. Love the wood grain on that. See the bolsters there, flat portion here, stamped with Witness Sheffield, England. And of course, you've got the eye at the top. And then it's kind of rounded at the top with a pinch at the end as well. Take a look at the brass liners there on that filed back spring. Goes all the way down. And a really nice termination. You can actually see, look how perfectly that blade is centred. Tang, you'll notice as well, of these knives is flush with the end of the bolster, something that's really cool to see as well. And you can see that firework does creep its way up the spine of the knife. Back then, really dark wood with those sort of nickel silver pins all superbly flush. Just look how well the stamps are done on this. For a handmade knife, that's absolutely fantastic. So let's take a look at the blade. Nice half stop there. And of course, fingerprints all over it straight away. But look at that wonderfully mirror finished blade. Take a look at the Taylor's Eyewitness Tang stamp there as well. Edge grind on this. Really, really well done. You can see it's pretty much perfect all the way around. As perfect as you're going to get it anyway. And then... On the back as well really nice all the way down and this is actually really nice and sharp it's nice to see british companies putting a lot more quality into their knives for a good portion of years <clears throat> excuse me the quality did go down a bit and that is a bit of a shame but they're really trying to build it back up all these british companies and that's fantastic to see nice point on the end there and look at the belly on this clip point blade nice snap on the open too and you can see the file look there going all the way down onto the back of the blade. 
that bulbous end makes it really comfortable in the hand, sort of choke up onto this ricasso or the kick, and it fills the hand wonderfully, and it's a definite working knife, this. Take a look at the blade length end for the UK, and we have tip to tang of 1 to 2.6, close to 2.7 inches, and then a cutting length of 1 to 2.3, 2.4 inches. So, of course, they've made the the UK Barlow UK legal. I mean, they they have to really, don't they? Nice little nail nick there in the top on the on the show side of the knife. Done really well. No swedging, just a really nice working blade. And I'm super impressed with this thing. The walk and talk is excellent. Listen to the snap. It's about six and a half, maybe about a seven all the way round. Really nice, strong pull. And it's nice to see that it's not stupidly too much. Uh, I know a couple of Barlows, or British Barlows, can generally have a pull up to about nine. And it is a real thumb breaker. But this one, I love the pull on this one. It's pretty much perfect and ideal for me. It's just so crisp into the half stop. No wobble or anything. It's just slammed straight in and, and stops. So over the moon with this knife, it's really great. Love the contrast of the brass on the black hardwood and on the silver backspring. This thing is just gets covered in thing. I can't help it. But look at that. Such a pretty knife. It's one that's going to be in the collection for a long time, if not forever. It's one of those knives you sort of buy for it to be an heirloom because it's just made so well. For a handcrafted knife, pretty much spot on as far as I can see fit and finish. I can't find any sort of flaws at all. Center in, bang on, haft in is, is wonderful. All the pins are smooth, no sharp edges, no sharp corners on the back of the tang, nothing. Walk and talk's excellent. I'm over the moon. It's fantastic. But what do you guys think? You guys enjoy a British Barlow? Hopefully I'll have um, the funds available to pick up some more of these. Maybe get a few more from the collection. I'd love to get one with a bone handle or maybe like a horn, buffalo horn, something like that. That'd be really cool. But just fantastic purchase and I'm so glad I picked this one up. So there we go, guys. That's sort of my review and overview of the Taylor's Eye Witness, and that is part of the Premier Collection, and this is the Barlow with the African Blackwood. Really hope you enjoyed this review. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.